artifacts to Mars. Underground network runnings homes to hide undocumented immigrants, I mean illegal aliens. So here we have more organized crime. This is organized crime by definition. The ones who are doing this are organized criminals. The hammer pounds away in the living room of a middle class home, sanding machine smooths the grain of the wood floor in the dining room. But this home, Pastor Ada Valenti is showing off in Los Angeles with his refurbished floors is no ordinary home. It will be three families that we host here, Valenti says. By host, she means provide refuge people may have maybe sought by U.S. ICE officials. The families staying here will be undocumented immigrants, meaning illegal aliens, fearing an ice raid and possible deportation. The purchase of this home is part of a network formed by LA religious leaders across the face in the wake of Donald Trump's election. Is there any wonder why I'm an agnostic? They're openly plotting the law. And there's nothing in the Bible, as far as I know, that says, you know, God commands us to protect people by breaking the law and coming here illegally. There's nothing there. The goal is to offer another sanctuary beyond religious buildings or schools, ones that require federal authorities to obtain search warrants for entering the homes. That's what we need to do as a community to keep families together, Valenti says. Uh, excuse me, Ada Valente, you're breaking the law and you deserve to be in prison right now. And it's in prison that you would receive the training, the education, the instruction, the direction, and the correction that you need to become a re reformed and re-educated person. In another Los Angeles neighborhood miles away, a Jewish man shows off a sparsely decorated spare bedroom in his home. White sheets and bed and a clean adjacent full bed bathroom near bear all the marks of an impending visit. The man who asked not to be identified pictures an undocumented woman and her children who may find refuge in his home someday. The man says he's never been in trouble before and has difficulty picturing that moment, but he's well educated to understand the Fourth Amendment, which gives people the right to be secure in their homes against unreasonable search and searches and seizures. He's pictured a moment ice or a knock on the store. I definitely won't let I definitely won't let them in. That's our legal right, he says. If they have warrant then they can come in. I can imagine that could be scary, but I feel the consequences of being passive in this moment is a little scary. Um, well if ICE officials are paying attention, you should be in uh, handcuffs right now. Reverend Zach Hoover wants to help immigrant families feeling, fearing deportation stay hidden and together. Uh, religious leaders have a name for the network, the Rapid Response Team. I have a name for you, it's called Organized Crime. The idea is not necessarily a new one, according to Reverend Zach Hoover, Executive Director of the Interfaith Community Organization, L.A. Voice. Hoover, 37, was, wasn't an active member during the sanctuary movement of the 1980s when U.S. congregations across faiths resisted federal law and provided shelter for Central Americans fleeing violence in their home countries. 
many congregations offer direct sanctuary housing on the illegal immigrants, while others offer food and legal assistance. Uh, so I'm going to kind of cut this short. I've gone over this territory before is why these people were breaking the law. This is organized crime by definition. These pastors are committing, have committed, uh, broken the law, and they deserve to be punished. If you're doing this, you are a criminal by definition, and you deserve to be punished. You deserve to go to prison. You're endangering our country by bringing in people we don't even know anything about. I'm not for... I'm not against uh, legal immigration when it's done the right way. When they come, they're on the waiting list, they go through the hoops, and then... You know, they learn English, and they become proud Americans. I'm not against that. I am against this. Because this is law-breaking. We have every right as a country to secure our borders, and we think we have to. And I'm going to say something to you so-called religious leaders. You are apostate. I am an agnostic, but you are apostates. You have abandoned the teachings of Jesus Christ. You are intentionally helping the drug cartels. You are breaking the law. Oh, so they're citing Matthew 25. Which teaches faithful they should feed the hungry and fight for those in prison. Well, you can feed the hungry in this country all you want. Well, anyway, I've been over this ground before. They are aiding and abetting the cartel. The drug cartels, they're bringing rampant crime into our country. I'm sorry, there has to be a legal process for allowing immigrants into the country. I've tangled with illegal immigrants more than uh, once, certainly. I've t Personally, I've dealt with them a bunch of times. Like a couple of them in a hotel, for instance, and this is just unbelievable. Lock and load, I guess. Uh, and you see why I'm an agnostic? Well, here you go. The churches are breaking the law, they're acting like a bunch of Al Capones. Don't ever, if you're doing this type of stuff, don't ever, ever talk to me about the forgiveness of Jesus Christ. I'm not going to listen. I mean, it's just a lie coming from you. It might be the truth coming from a real preacher who understands how the law is and what needs to happen as far as getting the borders sealed. It might be the truth coming from them, but from you people, it's a lie. You are liars. If I believed in the devil, I'd call you the devil's spawn. I'm Artifacts of Mars. Thanks for watching.